Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, trust your life in that balloon. <laughs> For sure. That's great. The two-star general just looks off and is like, yep, we got no paperwork to do here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! Welcome to Black Rifle Coffee's Veterans React. Joined by Mr. Evan Hafer and Matthew Best. Uh, washed up veterans. Washed up veterans. <laughs> Carbon stained pillows, handsome like lead. Under my mattress, gun safe as my bed. Loaded up mags, just ready to blast. ISIS flag when I wipe my ass. Pass your attention now, don't I? I've been married twice. Once to my wife Deborah, and now to my 1911. The 1911 puts out way more than Deborah. I want to watch Commando. So he literally tells his SF buddy he could smell them coming. Just yeah. remember that. I watched a lot of uh, the Navy SEALs propaganda movies. <laughs> 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 Platoon was epic. Chuck Norris in Delta Force. Legendary. <laughs> really stupid movies motivated me, but then after I became a military guy and then a Green Beret, I was like, boy, that's, that was really dumb. When you look at this, <laughs> There's so many, like their uniforms are pristine. Like Whoa! he's like just triggering booby traps. So he just reaches out, pulls the cord on a booby trap in Vietnam. Most of this would have been explosives. And it would have just flagging. blown everybody to pieces. You're just over there going, yeah, like pull some lines and blow some people up. He flags everybody throughout the entire iteration of this movie. With that said, they do look really cool in the, what, those are tiger stripes? Those are tiger stripes, Those are rad. Man. And he's like carrying his M16. He might as well just be pointing it. Yeah, he's pointing it, pointing it, it right the, at that guy. In the mouth of his buddy. Just like, here, carry this in the mouth. You can tell that's inside. They yeah. just dressed with fake trees. It's so, like, there oh. you go. Flag everybody again. <laughs> just. Building his squads or ODA's trust. He's a colonel. Oh. Yeah, he was a colonel out on patrol with the ODA because that always happened. Okay, this is outside at least. That's this outside. This is in California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the jungles of <laughs> the, the jungles of <laughs> yeah. North Hollywood. Oh! oh! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I gotta give this film credit because that was a really cool death sequence. It literally <laughs> pulled the tree over the punji sticks, lassoed him by his legs, and threw him into the sticks. Did they just yeah. leave him there? Did they, they leave just, their buddy they there? They just leave him there. That's, that's, they just leave him there. Like, yeah. Pretty sure. You gotta move on. 99.99 SF guys would not do that. <laughs> we don't even need to check to see if he's still, still alive. alive. We just like, <laughs> fucking move on with our lives. It's still stuck there like, guys, it, it literally guys, just like, stuck through my bicep. It's, We're it's okay. right here. And you can tell like that's like Fort Bragg or Fort Benning or one of those places. It's like this beautifully manicured LZ. There's like John Wayne in this perfectly shaped beret that just kind of sits awkwardly on his head. The the worst thing to wear in the field. Like you're not going to be wearing your green beret as you're like cruising around in the jungles. Oh man, they just that was they that that, that poor casualty. They just yeah, hucked they just him like, on that litter now. And then they got like a kid cruising around the helicopters and all the casualties and blood. It's not a big deal. They just got a boy cruising around there. What do you think about what do you think about true lies? Dude, it's one of my favorite flicks of all time. It's, I absolutely love it. Then go get the Bataraziz. This is a dope scene. This is when Arnold Schwarzenegger is taking a you know a piss and has the giant glasses on, and here comes homeboy. I believe it's a is it an Uzi? What's he on this got? One? What's he got? Oh nope, it's a suppressor. Uh, suppressor. Arnold shaking a little too much and dodged the bullet. Oh, bam! bam. <laughs> Waited to the last bam. minute. Right. Oh no. Nice. I love no, death yeah. sequences when the the guy still dies and shoots. I mm -hmm. feel like every Arnold one does that. I like how the the toilet sparked there. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of wiring in toilets. We all know that. <laughs> Good, you know, bathroom fight scene. <laughs> Random dude taking a poop. Yeah. Imagine if you're that dude. I, I love these action movies. I they're my favorite. They're so durable. Oh, wow. You get hit in the head with stuff and like <laughs> like no big deal. Like that didn't knock out all of his teeth. Yeah. And totally collapsed. And then that's the kill shot is to wash his head in the urinal. Yeah. The thing that finally got him is him <laughs> flushing the urinal <laughs> on his head. I like how none of them aim, really. I, I It's like all that. from the hip. Yeah. I don't think like, it was until the thousands when people started actually shoulder firing their weapons. But it is like an AK pistol, or however they have it set up, with no butt stocks. So he's got the double mags. Yeah. He came prepared. Yeah. See? See? But that's smart. That, that's smart. That's, that's smart. smart. Oh. All that toilet yeah, water. There it is. All that ass water. Now that's more accurate. Just kind of like the over the shoulder. Yeah. 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 That's pretty accurate. Oh, wow. He did a mag reload. Change. See? Yeah. And a mag okay. change there. Okay. Thank you, okay. Hollywood. We got some mag changes. High speed. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, this is great. Like, it's so obnoxious that it's good. I love that when the Harrier just pulls oh, yeah, right up into his binos up. and he's like, <gasps> and then, wait, <laughs> like rack, he did the, the whole rack. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so he knows how to fly a Harrier, which is a fairly sophisticated flying object, right? I mean, it's a jet that requires a lot of training. Like we're But they did it very, very conveniently in the plot where they pretty much said he used to fly jets, but then somehow mm -hmm. he is like a secret squirrel, you know, tier one epic spec ops guy. Fair I think enough. all of them do, right? All yeah, yeah. Squirrels. It's part of actually, um, you know, the training pipeline is you learn how to fly here. here. <laughs> all right, time to learn rotary wing assets. Yeah. Now he's okay. going to save his daughter. Jump. Jump. That's there's a lot. No, of, that's a lot of trust. There's in zero room for error. <laughs> Eddie just tail whips. The, the, yeah, we're good. Not a big deal. He is a great pilot. <laughs> he's not. He's not just. A, he, he's not just familiar with this frame. Yeah. Like he has lived in this thing. Yeah. For well, that's the funny part. Because the first time he takes off, he hits all the cop cars and he can't fly. Then all of a sudden, he's doing like inversions in the yeah. air and then like <laughs> strafing runs. But hey, he's a quick learner. It's he's, entertaining. It's Arnold, yeah. right? Is there anything else in True Lies you want me to queue up? I mean, you should just watch the whole movie. What the hell's the goddamn page? <laughs> Pretty much every Arnold flick I'm into. That's my dude, man. Started off in the uh, Austria army, you know, weightlifting, mm -hmm. and then became a freaking movie star, bodybuilder, yeah. governor. Whether you like his politics or not, that's the American dream. Yeah, he's a legend. Started from the bottom, and then now he's here. Commando is solid as they come. Because it's so cheesy. It's like the 80s flick where you can get away with absolutely everything. everything. Yeah, like see? Brand new boots. Brand new. Brand new. I love these montage scenes. Yeah. Like he's getting off. It's so just the, the one shock and shell. No mirror putting on perfect camo. He's got to camo his bare arms. Yeah. Like instead of just like wearing a long sleeve shirt, he's going to camo his bare arms. But look, you yeah. wouldn't have got that bicep no, shot. You really oh, this is great too. This is when he's flying in the airliner and just falls and like just nine, falls in, like, like, nice. like 1,200 feet out of the sky into a pond. Oh, wow. He rigged that thing to blow yeah. too. And there, that, I like how you can tell it was just like plywood yeah. oh, put yeah. up in yeah. fake yeah. buildings. Oh, that guy's awesome. He Bennett. looks like he's part of uh, the village people. Yeah. Full on. Full yeah. on. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Trust your life in that balloon. <laughs> For sure. That's he had sweet. a Mac 10. He should have started with the Mac 10. I know. Like this is oh, probably man. one of my favorite moments. There are like 150 bad guys opening up on Arnold with fully automatic weapons and he's shooting an M60 from the hip and doesn't get and shot he, once. He's right? shirtless. Shirtless, of yeah. course. Yeah. Can you imagine her growing up though, Arnold's daughter? Like how do you ever find a man that would ever compare to your father? Oh, it's like, yeah, my dad single-handedly killed 700 gorillas within some of them with like a hat <laughs> saw and a machete and a saw blade. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> so what do you do? I'm a barista. You're fired. Here's a random stranger female that's going to be your mom on this vacation. <laughs> and then he knows how to drive the seaplane, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like Arnold knows all these, how to fly every yeah, plane. No, he's, he's a stud. And the two-star general is just like, like <laughs> God bless America as he pulls off in the seaplane. That's great. The two-star general just looks off and is like, yep, we got no paperwork to do here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey so Arnold, you want to do that AR and you know battle damage assessment? Nah, nah, Roger that. I'm going to the keys. I'm gonna go to the keys with my new girlfriend and my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Let's cue us some Rambo stuff. Oh yeah, Rambo. Why can't we make movies that cheesy anymore? It'd be phenomenal. There's too many trolls on the internet, right? I feel like if oh. you do anything that's like Jack Ryan's pretty cheesy. <laughs> This is two. Rambo. This so is this two. two. This is two. Yeah. In my book promotion, I did steal a little bit of Rambo coming out of the water with the AK-47 oh, with yeah. the tourniquet across my head. You see, this isn't your average military book. I talk about being an internet douchebag, business, and getting a flesh-eating bacteria in Florida. I feel like a Navy SEAL. Which Rambo was it when he shoots the explosive arrow and blows up the dude in the rock? That was that, two. That's iconic. That was two. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Can you replicate that on full mag? It's funny that you bring it up. Oh. Uh, so I got this dude right there's here. There's nothing in there, right? No, 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 nothing in there. But yeah, no, that's that's the thing is like trying to figure out how Rambo could have got that to go. And if you look at some of the arrows, or actually all the arrows in two and three, it's got a little pressure tip on it. They're always shirtless, and they have really they've they've shaved their chest. Yeah, they're right. like they're tanned up, they're yeah. shaved. They got a nice pump on all their mm -hmm. muscles, and then they're carrying a dope machine gun. I believe that men should enjoy the finer things in life, like badass women and great coffee. So don't be such an asshole and buy a shotgun. And remember, freedom is found in cycling.
This is toxic masculinity. This is where it all starts. So this is part two. Oh wow. But Once I love again, this bow. From the hip again. He's like, you know what? I don't need a gun. Why? I need a bow. Why does like he's, like he's very yards. comfortable that he's not gonna get shot with that pistol. Yeah. Well, why? with that aiming. He <laughs> already knows what's up. And he doesn't even run for cover. He no. just looks at the arrow and goes. Look at the tip yeah. on that dude. Yep, there's a tip. Oh, and then he's like, okay, there now I'm is. running. Now I'm running. So bow and arrow versus pistol. And he's straight. He's not even like No. Uh-uh. But there he goes. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. He's adjusting. He's compensating. Yeah, there. Oh, wow. That was a really <laughs> I love wow. I love like you get like almost like the ammonium nitrate yeah. like vapor yeah. right there and everything. I like how he just dumped a full mag from his AK-47 from the hip, throws yeah. it down and goes, let me whip let me... out my nine mil and see what happens here. <laughs> and right. then the guy with the bow is just like eh, dead center. That's training for you. That's training. Yeah. The the bow was like a thing. For it's a him. staple, yeah. right? Yeah. Between that and the knife, I feel like yeah. he kinda Well of course. That shows, you know, the Green Beret away. <laughs> no, so he's taking the he's time to put. It he's assembling it. It's not even a compound bow. No, he has an Allen key with him. He's oh, ready yeah, to go. Damn. Oh my gosh! You got to keep so, that in your kit. We're not going to do like some type of heat-seeking surface-to-air missile system. And an he's RPG. putting together, oh, he's putting together the an arrow, arrow pressure tip with with a sharp tip, <laughs> which is. Really? Whoa. Oh shit! Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. <laughs> and look how Here unstable. It comes. That is a lot and of explosives. Blows up and a little bit. That was like a nuclear yeah. freaking yeah. bow, man. Yeah. I like how he upped the level of his game for three from two, yeah. right? Because yeah. it's like, hey, a guy's shooting at me with a pistol and a, a, a rifle. Idea. You know what? How about helicopter. a helicopter? Yeah. yeah. Helicopter versus bow and Isn't arrow. Isn't there a new Rambo coming out? Maybe he blows up like a. Plane this time with yeah. it. That would be rad. Yeah, like a jet. Though. I don't even I don't even know if we can use this one in this video because it's, this is it's so, so gory. gory. Very gory. So gory. But I will say, whoever did the the VFX on this and the guy is getting chopped in half, yes, it's mm -hmm. crazy, but that is like it, it, it's fun. Yeah. Like those oh, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's right. That, yeah. that's that's accurate. There you I go. would have loved to be on set. Look at the to size of the shot holes. This. Well, yeah, it's a 50 cal. Yeah. But he is destroying people with that 50 Yeah, count. this is it's like incredible. The VFX guy was like, so director, how much blood do you want to see? And he's like, yes. yes. <laughs> P for plenty. P for plenty. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 60 years old now, and still rocking the same hairstyle. Oh, so oh yeah. Good shoot. grenade. Look at that 50 that weapon. That seems really fast. The funny thing is, he's been rocking and rolling on that thing for a while, and he hasn't had any uh, headspace and timing issues, which is <laughs> yeah. what I would like to see. I think like, everybody that's been a machine gunner is like, they get the fifth, they're like, ah, shunk, 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 ah, shunk, ah, and then they have to whip out the saw, and they're like, king, king, king. Oh, no. Oh, that's a big hole, too. That's yeah. a big hole for a pistol. But what does a 45 look like? I mean, how come none of these guys got Medal of Honors at the end of the, like, <laughs> like, like, this, this guy's is some fighting real with gangster a rock. stuff, yeah. <laughs> oh, Shit, oh, mortars now? Yeah, there's a yeah. mortar oh, team coming. Nice. Wow. wow, yeah, that is. Nice. Whoa. It's always Amping fun it when like the first wave, and then you have the waves pillowing over, and you know that they're again. all the same extras that were just killed. They like change their uniforms. I like how they Whoa. put a uh, a Barrett break on that M2. <laughs> I like how they did that. I'm telling you, the stormtrooper syndrome's real, where the bad guys can never hit you, ever. Yeah. And if they do, it's like a grazing wound where you look at it and just tie a quick little t-shirt around and call it a day. Lots of rolls. Lots, Lots of there's rolls. There's way more rolling. Yeah. Oh, oh flamethrower okay. on there. I forgot about that. <laughs> Back up on it. Back, Back up, up on, on it. it. Yeah. Oh, he's he cut down a tree with that thing. Oh, wow. Wow. I'd be real mad at the driver if he just drove straight into a 50 cal. Like, hey buddy, maybe you wanna like, <laughs> let us dismount. This is gratuitous, least, like, this is, it's great. If they would've started there, I feel like, back in two, you know, just started there, it would've been too much for people to handle. Yeah, I agree, Whoa. I agree. But now I think they can say, we have yeah. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what they've done with all that, with like expendables yeah. and all that, just yeah, yeah. pee for plenty, more death, you know? Hey, it's fun to watch. I think Apocalypse Now is one of the best Vietnam era war movies. Francis Ford Coppola was a Vietnam vet, by the way. So he Vietnam. made the movie and he was a vet. So he he did a really, I think, an incredible job of just capturing like the, the chaos. I used to get nervous. Started. I'm like, girl, don't put that hand up next to the yeah. rotor, dude. Those hands down. 
Nietzsche. There's the word. Yeah. And he's just like totally into it. <laughs> go yeah. risk all these yeah. lives to get to a go surf. surf. On. It's a legit yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah, super legit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shot. America's here to yeah. surf. It's interesting you see that they use flares as almost as the launching of the rockets into the explosions. Yeah, it's always interesting seeing some of these like really older movies that hold up really well. I mean, clearly there's way too many movies for us yeah. to go over today. So of course. if you guys want to leave a comment below, just let us know what you'd want us to watch. We'll, uh, we'll just go through and start picking some. Yeah. What do you think? Sure. What we, so what are we gonna call this? Washed up veterans react? Is that what yeah. we're gonna call this? <laughs> Coffee people react to war-ish films. Yeah, I was, I was, I was trying to figure that out too because we have so many friends of Black Rifle Coffee that we can just include on this. So if there's anybody else that you guys want to see, maybe Stump, yeah. or we got the Tripwire guys, the Bomb Techs. Yeah. Like we got so many different people and so many different movies that we can cover. Andy Stump with Navy Seals. That's the one. that would I would watch. <laughs> yeah, that we got to get Andy in here. I would love it. Well, we thanks for count. watching. Yeah. <laughs> Just do like every YouTuber out there. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more stuff. Also, check out Black Rifle Coffee's Coffee Club. You can tell I'm a little deprived in sleep, but hey. Yeah, I, you, you, me both. I get it. I get it. I don't know why I am, but yeah, why are you? Fine. Why are you? I don't, I don't know. I have no Living idea. that single life, you I, know. I,